In this video, I will show you how you can download and install the Red Giant VFX right inside the After Effects. So first of all, you need to visit the official website which is megzone.net and it is Red Giant VFX. I will share the link in the description. You can navigate directly to that page and you can download the VFX powered by Red Giant. So once you are right inside, you can see two options here, try and buy. If you can purchase this software, you can click on buy. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Red Giant VFX in After Effects. So I'm gonna click on try. Oh, Red Fella. So once you're right inside, you will see the trial downloads and it is referring to the download Magzone app. You can also download the Magzone app from this official website or you can scroll down. You can click on more installers and downloads. Once you're right inside, you need to scroll down until you see the Red Giant here. You need to click on this and you will need to find the VFX. As you can see, you can also download it using the Magzone app or you can download it individually. I recommend to go with individual because we don't need to download the Magzone app to install the VFX or any other tool we want. So you need to click on this drop down and once you click on this it will ask you to sign in to download the VFX from the official website. So if you are registered you can click on sign in. If you are not registered you can click on register and provide your information and uh, sign in into the Magzone app. So I'm already a user, so I will click on sign in. Once I do so, I will go with sign in with Gmail or Google. Here you need to select your Gmail account that you want to link with the Magzone app. And once you're done, you will be navigated back to the page where you selected the Red Giant and VFX. You need to scroll down again. You need to click on Red Giant and you need to click on VFX drop down. And now you need to select Windows or Mac OS depending upon your operating system. For now, now I have Windows so I will click on Windows. Once you are done it will start downloading the VFX suit for Windows in the zipped file. Oh red fella so once you are done downloading the VFX suit for the After Effects you need to click on this. Once you do so it will show you the compressed files and it has packages, scripts and installer file. So let us extract all these files first and then we will install the VFX in the After Effects. For that you need to go to your downloads directory and right now you can see this is the VFX for windows from the red giant i will right click on this and i will go to open with and i will click on winrar you will see winrar only if you have downloaded and installed the winrar software on your pc and this tool is used to extract the zip files so you need to click on this once you're right inside as you can see we have two folders and one file here that is the exe file so you need to select this two dots folder it means that all these files will be selected then you need to click on extract to and then you need to specify the path where you want to extract these files so i will click on desktop and create a new folder with the name vfx suit 2024 for windows so i will click on ok once you are done let us go to the desktop where i have extracted the files all right fella so right now i am on my desktop as you can see i have the vfx suit folder here and as you can see these are the files that are extracted from the zip folder so my concern is vfx suit installer.exe file so i will click on this you may need to grant all permissions if required and uh, next you will be provided with the vfx suit installer now you need to click on install so once you are done you will see the vfx was successfully installed and you need to click on close once you're done navigate to the search bar of your windows and search for after effects as you can see i have the adobe after effects 2023 so i will select this file oh right fella so once you're right inside the after effects first of all you need to create a new composition and make sure you go with the default settings and click on ok once you're done you need to go to the window and you need to make sure you select the effects and presets and make sure you have the tick mark next to effects and preset once you do so you will see the effects and presets in the right side of the after effects you need to navigate to the file and you need to navigate the project settings once you are right inside under video rendering and effects you need to select mercury gpu acceleration cuda or opencl both of these options are great you need to go with your graphics card or gpu acceleration once you are done click on ok next you need to go to the edit and you need to go to the preferences and navigate to scripting and expressions once you are right inside you need to make sure allow scripts to write files and access network is marked as tick and you need to click on ok next you need to import some media into your after effects project so that we can test the red giant vfx whether it is successfully installed or not there you need to go to the project and make sure you are in the default view just right here and you need to double click on this area and select any
file that you want to import for example let me select this. once the video has been imported into your project you need to drag it and uh, you need to drop it into your composition once you are done you need to go to the effects and presets for example this is the red giant vfx effect that is super comp you can also find the list from the official website let me show you this is the vfx effects that you can use right inside your after effects so right now i have searched for super comp and as you can see the super comp has been appeared it means that the red gen vfx has been successfully installed into our after effects in order to import it into your composition you need to select this layer you need to double click on this or you can drag it into your composition just like this and once you are done you will see the super comp applied to your composition and when you click on open panel you will see the detailed interface of the magzone vfx super comp and you can apply effects you want so that's it i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day